Burmiestra is a genus of flowering plants in the bellflower family that consists of 102 species in Central and South America that are found mostly in moist montane forests. Flowers that are greenish, have a strong foul smell, and produce nectar at night are pollinated by bats. The bat gets nectar and the plant gets pollinated and sets fruit. This moth doesn't pollinate, but it is stealing the nectar. All but one species are pollinated by bats. At normal speed, one can see how quickly nectar bats check out the flowers. And to be sure they're not moths, the thermal camera shows that they are clearly mammals, producing lots of heat. It's only in slow motion that you can really see what's going on here. The bats are attracted to the foul smell of the flower and are able to detect whether it's producing nectar or not. In this case they could tell there was no nectar so they didn't even try sticking their tongue in. Several species of long-tongued bats and hairy-legged bats are known to feed on this flower. There we go. This guy got a mouthful of nectar. This plant has evolved to dump its pollen on the back of the head of the visiting bat. In places in the Andes, where there are several of these bellflower species, each flower has evolved to place its pollen load on a different part of the bat's body. This ensures that the right pollen goes to the right species of plant with as little mixing as possible. It looks like this one is eating some of the pollen on the anthers. This long-tongued bat inhabits a Costa Rican cloud forest at 1500 meters, which is cold, windy, and wet. So a shot of sweet nectar is vital for its survival.